Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find a link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it and hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. Today is April 19th. I can't even believe it. I tell you, these weeks are just flying by, but it's going to start slowing down here pretty soon. We're going to have Pluto going retrograde here at the end of the month, which is all about death, decay, destruction. It's going to be all about digging up secrets, everything to do with your subconscious, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, please show me what April 19th has in store for the collective, whoever needs to hear this message. All right, you guys, so time to go. It did show up in the reverse, so I want to go ahead and read that card. It is the number 45, which is... Uh, the number nine. I do want to say that for some of you, somebody, I'm telling you, I've been getting a theme of people coming back, people coming back in, people wanting to talk to you, people wanting to mend relationships. So let's go ahead. Let's see what it says for the protection message. It says, if even if it appears that you've reached the end of the line and all is lost, it isn't. You're in a situation that will resurface again later. So consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubts, but that is natural as it doesn't have the map of your destiny. The soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. So if you've had to walk away from anything in your life, just know that if it's meant to be, it's going to come back in later. It's like when, you know, somebody walks away from us and then, you know, six months to five, 10 years down the road, they show back up in. It's because you have unfinished business. Okay. So they just needed to go off and learn their lessons while you went off and learned your lessons and was able to just maneuver through the energy. And then you guys can come back together and communicate about the things that you guys have learned. Okay, so that's not always a bad thing when people walk away from our lives. It just means that we have other work that needs to be done that is more important. And this other person or this other situation is going to distract us from learning all there is to learn in this world. You know, sometimes we sometimes we just plateau and we have to honor that space and that's okay. It doesn't mean that the other person's bad or that you're bad. It just means it's not time and there's other things that you need to learn. 45 is also adds up to a nine. Nine is also about perseverance. It's saying you're almost to the end. Don't give up, okay? Spirit. Please show me for the collective. What do they need to know? There it is. Magician, you are the creator of your life. You have all the tools to manifest your heart's desire. You've got the cups, which is the emotion. You've got the wands, which is the passion. You've got the, the swords, which is the intellect. And you have the pentacles, which is the practicality of you actually doing something about your life. Something about manifesting a whole new existence for yourself. We are the magician. Everything that is in front of us is a an illusion okay see it's like you watch um, magicians perform their act right and they're they're magical right they make they can make rabbits come out of hats and you look in the hat and there was nothing there a moment ago so they can pull something out of nothing something it's like as above so below see how his hand is up as above so below as within so without so you're pulling from the spirit realm and you're grounding it into the physical realm it's usually the Pisces version Virgo access, okay? So spirit, so I, I like how today is starting. It's like you're beginning something new. You're creating two of swords in the reverse. So this is about choices and decisions, okay? I like the fact, that, fact that it is in reverse for some of you, especially sitting over the top of the magician. So it means you've made a decision and you're ready to manifest and you're ready to go into your creativity. So there could be someone here, a woman does not have to be somebody who is more in their feminine and energy could definitely be connected to the occult. So this person could be a healer uh, or they're just very creative and they are someone who's really good at their craft. Okay. 
The black cat symbolizes their spirituality. So this person is usually connected to anything occult. And we all know what occult means, right? It's the things that are hidden, all right? It's nothing bad. It's the things that are hidden. I do feel like for some of you, this could have very well happened with this new moon. We do have the new moon right here. And we did just have that new moon on Sunday. So what about a week ago? So with that said, for some of you, you are starting a new job today. You're going to be working. Um, you're going to be working. It's all about brand new beginnings. That is what the sunflowers are all about. And it's because the universe is helping you manifest as you are the manifester. So you brought this into your life. Okay. Spirit, please show me what messages, what guidance do we have for the 19th? Okay. So there could be some type of on the job training for others of you. This could have something to do with uh, competition. Maybe there was competition in the past. Maybe someone here was trying to trick you because they were in competition with other people. See how there's five people here for others of you it's almost like you're trying to build something and maybe you didn't know what it was that you were building and now you're getting some form of an idea and you're ready to bring it into um into the physical realm spirit please show me for april 19th for the collective what do they need to know anybody watching this video what do they need to know Okay, now we have the divine counterparts, you guys. We have the king of wands and we have the queen of wands. So for some of you, you could be meeting your king or your queen. Congratulations, you're manifesting a relationship. This is a power couple right here, okay? So keep that in mind. Maybe it's somebody that you're going to be working with that, it you know, mirrors you. And this is somebody who is, you know, they've made a decision about you. They have decided, you know what, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and move forward. I feel like this is, there's now three, four wands here with the magician so again this is about passion creativity this is could be about your job for some of you this is a very sexual sensual energy okay so ooh la la <laughs> for all of you guys who are getting some all right two of wands in the reverse okay so now we have two twos so two twos is about making decisions again you know i do feel like there's this theme of something coming back around so if you have had an opportunity of something coming back around it's like you have already made the decision to go off on this journey for some of you you're still a little stuck you're still a little stuck because we do have the two twos in reverse. So let's go ahead and see what the rest of the cards show. Spirit, please show me. There it is. Okay. The Knight of uh, Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is somebody who is... Um, he's the bringer of things. So the fact that he is looking out upon the horizon, trying to decide on what it is that he wants to invest this pentacle in, invest his time, his energy, his efforts, his health, his wealth, all of those things has to do with the pentacle because it's the practical, it's the tangible, correct? So for some of you, this is, again, I do believe for some of you, you are definitely starting a new job. This is a job offer. And for others of you, you're going to be gaining, you know, you're going to be bringing in some type of money maybe there's some money that is coming in for you spirit maybe for some of you you're finally getting your uh, your check from <laughs> something you've been waiting on for a really long time damn there's a lot of wands here now we've got the five of wands the king of wands the queen of wands the two of wands the three of wands and we also have the magician with the wand so very fiery passionate romantic type of a day not really seeing cups so it might not be so emotional it might be one of those moments where the two of you are throwing each other up against the wall not bad energy for others of you we have this three of wands and the three of wands is all about looking out upon the horizon waiting for your ships to come in well with the nine of pentacles if it's been taking you a really long time, I can honestly tell you they're on their way in now and I think they're about ready to dock. So keep that in mind. Also, slow and steady wins the race. We don't want to push forward. If you notice that the horse is standing uh, standing still, it is not moving around. It is looking out, okay? So it is making a, a conscious decision as to what it is that they want to manifest. I do believe, look at this, you guys. Look at this. Look, 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 look. We have the magician and we have the three of wands. Notice how they're wearing the same cloak and look at this the king of wands is also wearing that same cloak and the guy right here is wearing the same cloak again the color red is connected to the root chakra so for some of you it's really tuning into that root chakra the root chakra is again about creativity sexuality so for some of you you know you could maybe you need to be doing some type of dance okay some salsa lessons or something so spirit please show me 
What messages? What guidance do we have? For others of you, you're dealing with somebody from across the world. You're going to be talking to somebody who is maybe across water, by water, because I am seeing here where he's on the water and here he's looking over the water and she's also got the water behind her. So you could definitely be talking to somebody who is you either lives near water or maybe for some of you, you're going to be traveling in and maybe you're waiting on somebody to travel in. Maybe you're missing somebody. Maybe this is a husband and a wife who are separated at the time, maybe due to business. Okay. Maybe someone here is working or it could have anything to do with on the job training. So maybe for some of you, your husband or wife are in the military. Okay. Nine of pentacles. Okay. So for in the hopes and fears position, we have the nine of pentacles. I'm going to say, I don't think this is a fear. If this is a fear, this is a fear of not being able to manifest enough with the knight of pentacles here with the king and queen of wands here. And I'm sorry, but we could take all those cards out and only use the magician considering the magician had pulls the most weight in this reading because so far out of every card I pulled, this is the only major arcana, which means today is a day of manifestation. You want to manifest a new job, get your ass out there and start putting in those, um, in, the, in your resume, in your application. Maybe it's something that you, maybe you applied for a long time ago. Maybe they didn't say anything, but your ego is what is wanting you to stop, you know, to stop you, right? Because sometimes the devil's in the details and we overthink, overanalyze. Well, they didn't choose us last time, so I'm not going to go out and go after what I want. Here's the deal. Go after what you want, because when I'm looking at these cards and the magician here, you could definitely manifest it. You just have to be the initiator, which is the number one. One is about the initiation. Two is about the wand or the the um the choice right so i want to say make the choice and then take action that's what the king of queen of wands does they take action of course you want to take calculated action as to what it is that you're doing but at the same time take some form of action okay um, don't let your thoughts keep you back. For others of you, you are trying to decide on whether or not you want to be single or not. I do feel like the masculine here has got his back turned on this um, on this nine of pentacles, which is the single lady card. So maybe he is looking back at his past and wanting to manifest because he is wanting to, you know, hold on to his wife. So for some of you, or it could be vice versa, okay? It just depends on who I'm talking to. Male, male, female, female, does not matter. You know I'm not gender specific here on my channel. So so with that said, I feel like there are decisions that are kind of stalled out right now, but I do feel like you are looking for some type of help and healing, okay? Help and healing. I do feel like the two of you are very passionate about one another, but, and I think that maybe if you guys did come back, uh, remember earlier when I pulled the time to go card and it showed up in the reverse and I said there was a time that maybe you guys walked away from each other and then you came back in. And maybe this is, you know, you deciding on whether or not you want to walk back out that door or if you're going to be more creative because that's what the wands are all about be more creative as to how you're going to manifest in this relationship moving forward the outcome of this reading is there it is you guys the knight of wands so you guys holy shit lots of passionate lots of fire energy today there could be a chance encounter one night stand not gonna lie because he is the um one night stand of the zodiac coming on in and if you haven't noticed the king over here does have his staff in his hand if you know what i mean okay so uh be mindful if you don't want to manifest a child because this could also be a pregnant woman okay the child here's the seed okay so be mindful if you don't want babies wrap it up okay at the bottom of the deck, we do have, oh my God, look, you guys, the six of wands. Okay. So this is victory. This is success. This is people who are seeing you that are recognizing your talent. They are celebrating you. They're happy for you. But I want you to look at this horse. Do you see the horse? See how the horse is looking back here? This horse is looking back at this man think, and telling him, remember, you didn't get here all by yourself. Okay. Now, whether that was other people who helped you, maybe that that was your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, God, goddess, whatever it is, uh, universe, whoever it is that you believe in. Um, I feel like you need to make sure that you are showing gratitude for all the beautiful things that are coming in. So we do have a black horse and a white horse here. The white horse tells me that there is help along the way. For the black horse, it tells me that you need to tune into your subconscious mind and you need to just
just let whatever is here go. You guys, I'm not going to tell you that there is anything bad about this reading because there is not. You've got the three of wands. You've got the five of wands, the six of wands. So you know what the only thing that is missing when I look at that? Actually, you've got the two, the three, the five, the six, the king and queen. So you know what's missing is the four. The four is the stability. For some of you, you are definitely looking at a home move. Maybe you're moving from east to west, okay? So I am seeing that here. And you're trying to decide on what, you know, or you're waiting on the money to show up and you're just waiting, okay? Maybe that's all it is. Um, but again, we have two nines here and two nines says don't give up. So um, looking at all these wands here, very passionate day. Make sure that you use it for passion and not aggression because with all this wand energy, it could be too much fire so make sure that you go to the gym make sure that you make love you know mad passionate love to your significant other if you have one I am not condoning just going out and finding somebody to be with because again we are sharing energy with other individuals and we want to be very very careful who we allow in our energy sphere so I take it very seriously when I say you know it's not that I don't want people to eat I just don't want you to eat at my table and that needs to be everybody's motto and that even goes back to when it, you're being intimate with another individual with that said let's go ahead and look at so I do feel you know two nights here tells me that there's going to be some type of action that is taken today some type of an initiation that has been taken here today and you guys you are in control of how you want this to play out if you want it to you know go sideways it's going to go sideways if you want it to move forward it's going to move forward with this magician here remember you are in charge of your destiny me. All right, Spirit, go ahead and show me their love life. For some of you, you are going into union. You are going to run into the love of your life today. Congratulations to those of you who are coming into union. This is going to be something where this person wants to go public. I think this person is going to want to scream from the rooftops that they are in love with you, and I think they're about ready to tell you. If they don't tell you today, because I do see it's like where they're finally digging up the passion, I'm not seeing communication just yet, but I do see where something can come in okay maybe energetically you feel this person all right so and maybe somebody is pl planning on traveling in to come and see you spirit please show me their love life for april 19th what messages what guidance do they have and you guys if this is not making sense today remember that these readings are timeless come back sometimes you know there's been readings where i do it on monday and then all of a sudden on friday that reading is finally playing out or the following week again we're all on different time you know zones for every single one of us and you know depending on the frequency frequency that you're at is going to depend on when this comes through. Again, these readings are timeless. Spirit, please show me for their love life. Okay, there it is. It is safe for you to love. It says, open your heart to give and receive your highest energy of all. Okay, for some of you, maybe somebody here has put you up on a pedestal and they are getting ready to take you down. You know, I do feel, especially with this king and queen of wands, I feel like, you know, if you are in a relationship, it's because if you, there's anything that's been going on in this relationship, any type of conflict, because fives are change created by outside forces beyond your control and there's nothing you can do about it the only thing you can do is learn how to work on this situation and in doing so you will become victorious for some of you I definitely do see a commitment for others of you uh, maybe a job is going to finally commit to you uh, and you guys will be signing contracts, which is good. You don't want to be signing contracts at the end of May on a home, on a job, on any of those. Here it is. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So, you know, maybe you need to sit down with a friend. For others of you, you know, get a reading. For others of you, you know, um, maybe for some of you, maybe your friends are also, you might want to look at your friends and look at their relationships because sometimes we ask our friends for advice and the ones that are going through shitty relationships and have no business giving any type of advice on a relationship because this did show up in the reverse so I'm going to go ahead and honor that and I am an intuitive so therefore this is what I'm gathering listen misery loves company so when you are looking at somebody who actually could be very very good for you again your perfect match that you are manifesting sorry they're looking at each other um you know you're manifesting this of course there's going to be somebody who wants to come in and demolish that for you maybe not on purpose and maybe that's not their intentions but at the same time you really need to go within and use your own intuition otherwise like i said schedule a reading i'll let you know if you're wasting your time or not although i don't ever feel like we're wasting our time i feel like we just have to 
to learn lessons. You know, I feel like the feminine here is looking future forward and the masculine here is looking back. Okay, so we want to make sure that the masculine is not looking constantly back at the past and we start looking at the, uh, the future of what it is that we could be manifesting here. Okay, take things nice and slow. That's what I do want to tell you because I know... You know, a lot of people, because they're still programmed from their past, they meet somebody and instantly jump right into bed with them. I would not suggest that, you guys, especially when I'm seeing all this fire energy. You can use that passion in other things, but when I'm looking at the Knight of Pentacles here, it is saying, skirt, slow it down. We don't need to jump in, and especially if this has been a pattern of yours. You don't want a trickster here, okay? Because it's only going to cause a lot of chaos in your life. So keep that in mind for those of you who that applies to. Spirit, one more card for the collective. What messages, what guidance do we need? What do they need to hear regarding this reading? What do they need to hear? All in all, you guys, this is really good messages. Really good messages. Just be careful. of. Who, and sometimes it's always better to get an unbiased opinion because then they're not so emotionally involved and, you know, in your your life and then you know because everybody seems to attach it's always best to get somebody who's detached okay chemistry all right you guys there's a strong magnetic attraction here between you and another person and maybe for some of you it's a it doesn't even have to be a romantic partner it could be friends it could be family it could be co-workers it could be your job so for some of you you're passionate about your animals okay and that's all it is because we can have love for that we can be married to our fucking job i know versus me i am okay and at the bottom of the deck we have flirt at, at, in reverse so someone here flirting with you um or maybe somebody is holding back from flirting with you because they're a little nervous right so I do like I said you know pull it back a little bit rein it in a little bit but I do feel like someone here is about ready to make a decision maybe they're holding back but I feel like there's this urge there's this urge to come together maybe someone here is flirting with another person and the other person's like nah I'm good you know or maybe you're married and somebody's flirting with you you're like whoa so all in all, you guys, really good reading today. I do want to say, you know, the people that you have in your life right now, um, you know, be mindful that you're not being magnetized towards something that is not good for you. Something, you know, and like I said, for some of you, this person does live at a distance from you and you're just waiting for this person to show up. I feel like you need to go off and live your life now. For some of you, you're afraid of being single. For others of you, you're leaving your significant other. You're manifesting your way right on out victoriously, might I? I add and you're going to be single and you're worried about your finances I think you have nothing to worry about you know when we're in the wrong type of a relationship I can tell you that the universe will drain our finances because it's asking you what is your value system what is this worth to you okay you value your health and your wealth or do you value this toxic relationship so keep that in the back of your your head you guys so we're going to do one more one more card in the love one more card for them spirit what do they need to know Oh, that didn't flip. Okay. Do another round. All right, spirit. Right. Oh, there it is. All right. So what's it say? Power. There's so much power here with all these wands. You have the power to create. Look, he's got the power in the palm of his hands. And all you have to do is be willing to use your magic. You instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Even if someone is wanting to come back in from the past does not mean that this person is good for you. And you need to use your discernment on whether or not you should allow this to continuously just affect you, okay? This chaos. This is child's play. This is bullshit, okay, you guys? So keep that in mind. And any of you who are trying to, you know, flirt with somebody that it has multiple partners, okay, and there's competition, listen, you guys, you're the queen of wands. You're the king of fucking wands. You guys are the magician of your life, and you have the power to create your your life however you want and always remember if somebody keeps you as an option make sure that you take yourself out of the equation anyway you guys i want to thank you guys for being here thank you for watching you know i really appreciate it do not forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you again tomorrow take care